Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight and I have missed you guys so much. Um, I'm just going to do a little live to help explain the retirement list. There's not going to be any stamping tonight, but I am going to share some of the beautiful cards that I got in the mail this week. So I am um, going to get you guys up on my screen here. So hang tight while I do that and wait for people to pop in. Hi, Arliss. Hi, Haley. Hi, Kathy. I hope you guys are all doing well. Ruth is here and Mindy. We've got Julie coming in. Mary Ellen, I'm so happy to see everybody popping on here. This was just kind of a little last minute thing. I've been going over the retirement list kind of all afternoon among some other things that are going on. But um, wow, what a lot to go through and process. Well, Melinda, thank you so much. Haley is doing well. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Arliss. Hi, Joan. We still don't have a baby born yet, so I don't know what Weedley's real name is. <laughs> She's hanging in there right till the end. I think she's going to be a really stubborn little girl. <laughs> yeah, so nothing, nothing, nothing yet. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Iona. Kathy Miller. Hello. Jane is in here. Welcome, you guys. So I don't even know what's today. Today is Thursday the 23rd. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I've been... So frantically scrambling to get caught up and I'm starting to feel really good about where I'm at right now and all of your sweet comments about take time for yourself you need to get yourself back together and I'm like thank you so much I'm glad you understand because um, and I don't want to go like oh it's so hard blah 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 but um, doing the Facebook live every day that's the easy part I love it but it's all the other stuff that um, was kind of falling through the cracks. And I have to keep, I have to maintain my good customer service reputation. That's very important to me. And so um, I needed to take a few days to get myself back together and get caught up. And I'm almost there. I have one more swap that needs to go out the door. And also I am, I'm going to be a guest tutorialist on um, splitcoaststampers.com. I think next week it's going to get published. So I have to get that project created and videos and photographs and written instructions and all the things that go with that. It's, it's, um, there's a lot to it, but it's super fun. And I love, I love being on there and I'm honored that they asked me to do it. So Haley's going to be induced on Monday if Weedley isn't born before then, but I'm really thinking that she's going to be like, I think she's going to be, she's coming before Monday. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I have no insight knowledge to that. You understand that, right? I don't have a medical bone in my body. <laughs> no, there's no news. We have no news. We have no baby yet. Okay, so we're not going to be doing any stamping tonight. So if you guys have already seen somebody's post about the retirement list, um, you're more than welcome to stick with us because it'll probably be pretty funny. Um, I don't know that I feel real secure in giving you all of these answers, but I, I think I have it together pretty good. I have been going through the retirement list and there's been a lot of things happening with our retirement list that have caused some panic and a lot of confusion. And so I just really want to clear that up. I want you guys to know exactly what's happening, what's going away, what's already gone. I have done, I think, some pretty um, complete research today to be able to sound like like I'm knowledgeable about this. I hate it when I tell you guys something wrong. So I've really kind of gone through and made sure that, to the best of my knowledge, everything I'm going to tell you is correct. So just want to go through the retirement list with you and let you know what's going on. There was a big panic over Stampin' Blends. Why are all of our Stampin' Blends retiring? And um, they're not. They're just being assigned a new item code. And what Stampin' Up! is going to be doing is um, they're going to be, we right now we sell a light Stampin' Blend in a color, we sell a dark Stampin' Blend in a color, or you have the option to buy them together as a combo pack. And um, research on the sales trend with these Stampin' Blends has shown that the majority of people are buying them as a combo pack. And so Stampin' Up! has made a difficult decision to um, only market them as a combo pack. So you get a light and a dark 
in the Stampin' Blends. And I know for some of you, you use one color more than the other. You use the light more than you use the dark. You use the dark more than you use the light. And I totally, totally get that. But from a company standpoint, Stampin' Up! has to do what's going to be best for their customers and being able to have more room for inventory on the pick lines, which is where they pick your stuff and put them into the boxes to send them your orders, is what they've decided is best. So Stampin' Blends are only going to be available in the new catalog in a combo pack, not as two separate items. And... That's not going to be necessarily good for me because I do I use the light a lot more than the dark. But it is what it is and it's better for the company as a whole and better for customers to be able to bring in more products. Right now, we have three bins for Stampin' for one color of Stampin' Blends. There's a light daffodil delight, a dark daffodil delight, and a combo pack. And now there's only going to be combo packs. So that's going to put more products available to us, which I think is really cool. And we'll get by just fine. But a lot of people were freaking out that the Stampin' Blends were retiring altogether. We were getting rid of them. And we're not. So, whew, right? It's like, what? But no, that's not happening. So we're going to be just fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to get through this retirement together. There's some things that I'm really sad about. But I always remember that with that little bit of sadness when I say, to, say goodbye to some of these products that I absolutely love, is the happiness and the giddiness and the joy at the new products I'm going to be able to get and use and play with and share with you. So um, you remember, my glass is always half full, and that's the half full part of it. I'm sad some things are going, but I'm super excited about the new stuff that's coming out. And if you're on, <clears throat> or on somebody else's team, but if you're on my team as a discount shopper or a business builder, it doesn't matter which one, we got to see the new catalog yesterday. And can I just say... Ching, ching, ching. I am going to be spending a lot of money right away because there's so many beautiful things in there. I'm just giddy with excitement over the new catalog. Now, if you want to join my team as a discount shopper, I highly recommend it because we are going to be able to pre-order out of the new catalog on May 5th, and that's super exciting. Um, discount shoppers, team members always get to pre-order out of our new catalogs early. And they do that so that the people who are building a business or business builders can start making samples with the new product before it goes live to the public. But it doesn't matter if you're a discount shopper or a business builder, you get all the same perks that the whole group gets. And you can also um, order... Um, new items once May 5th gets here with that discount shopper kit. And remember, our kit is a hundred or it's $99 plus tax, free shipping. You get a paper pumpkin kit on top of it. You get a 20% discount on all your future orders and you get to choose $125 worth of product for only $99. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. So anyways, <clears throat> that's one way that you can look at the catalog early, that you get to pre-order early. We're privy to a lot of this information um, and it's pretty cool. So if you're a big stamper, you should be getting your stuff at a discount. I always say that. And I would love to have you on my team. I have team members from all over the country. So with that being said, for those of you that are coming on late, we do not have a baby yet. It's getting very, very close. So just know that. It's going to be soon. I can feel it in my bones, but I do not have any medical insider information because you know that I'm not medical. I am forced to do some medical things once in a while, but it's not my cup of tea. God bless you people who do the medical stuff because I am not. That is not my thing. <laughs> okay, so as I explained, we're going to go through this retirement list. I've actually gone through both of my catalogs and I've marked them up to show exactly what's retiring. I'm pretty confident that everything I have listed here is going to be correct, but if it's not, I'm human, right? That's all we can do. When I get done with the tour here, I have some amazing swap cards to share with you. I'm gonna keep those right here so I don't forget. And um, I also have some mail that I got this week. Some beautiful mail, you guys. It's so fun and exciting. Oh, I gotta show you these too. So one of the things that's retiring that has me kind of pretty sad is the cow set. I, can't, I don't even know what it's called right now, but we'll get to it. 
And look at how cute these little boxes are. Aren't they adorable? It says, you're utterly fantastic, little cow. This one is empty. I got these from my friend Lisa. She's also on my team. This one is not empty. It has a Milky Way in it, and I already ate this one, so. <laughs> but aren't these super duper sweet? Yeah, this is retiring. Total sadness. Okay, let's, I'm gonna flip the camera around, you guys. Oh, I still didn't get you up on my screen. Um, let me find this live. I've already muted my computer. Oh, that's Haley. <laughs> I was seeing the last video. I'm going to get you bigger so that I can see your comments going on here and move things off to the side and cover up people's addresses because I should not be sharing those with the general public, right? <sighs> I miss you guys so much. I can't even tell you. Like, I'm having Facebook Live withdrawal. I'm not even kidding. I'm like, I need to get back on. But I am getting caught up. So just know that I am accomplishing. Look, at I've got dirty dishes in here. It's not really that bad. I only have one glass, but I got to kind of move things out of my way here. I think I'm going to be doing my project for the Split Coast tutorial using the Golf Club dies and the Country Club stamp set. So be watching for that. I think it goes live, I think next Wednesday, you guys. So um, I'll make sure that I post it. You'll see, you'll see it. I, yeah, I'll spread it all over the place. That's what I do. <laughs> okay. I think we're ready. Oh, you know what? I did not even look to see if I hit my next $10,000 increment so we could tear off a chain, you guys. So let me look at that quickly. Doo -doo -doo. It seems strange not to watch me every night. It seems really weird for me too. Like I totally miss you guys. So I've, you know, things are happening and I, I need to tell my peeps about them. Oh, hang on. For some reason, I'm not able to. There we go. Eight. Okay, I'm logging in. It's really easy to find my report. I want to celebrate with you if I've got another chain to yank off. And I completely forgot about it. And here we go. One more button. Yes! <laughs> I'm over by $100. So, this is so exciting, isn't it? So for those of you that may be new, this is my million dollar chain. And right now I am working towards hitting a million dollars in career to date sales. So every 10,000 increments, the chain has an amount on it. Okay, so this one is 940,000. This one's 950,000. My team leader, Ann Hebner, gave this to me. She mailed it to me and I have been celebrating with you guys. Thank you for all the hearts and love. Um, and I just... I'm $100 over that $940,000 mark, so yay. Thank you guys so much, everybody who has been contributing to my hitting this goal. I so appreciate it. All of your orders, your kit orders, all of that helps me out so much. So are we ready? Boom, gone. Now we're reaching for $950,000. Oh, wait, I got to get my chain back up there. It hangs on my little light over here so I don't forget. So, yay! That's exciting. Okay, now I'm going to flip my camera around. Get you guys back on my screen. There you are. Are you guys ready? Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I'm going to flip you around. And we are going to do this. Here we go. So I spent, uh, and I'm not even kidding, like most of the afternoon, I did have a few phone calls that came in that I took care of, which was a nice little break to my day. And so um, I have some people who call me once in a while to get help with orders and stuff like that. Please, please, please don't ever feel like you have to apologize to me. That's what everybody says. Kelly, I know how busy you are. I'm so sorry. Don't you apologize to me. That's what I'm here for. This is my job. And quite frankly, talking to a real person once in a while is not a bad thing. <laughs> so, the retirement list. Um, I have to apologize because I think that the version that I uploaded to my blog and then shared in a link on Facebook was like kind of jacked up. I, I think I didn't upload the right version. I think I uploaded an Excel um, spreadsheet version and then some of you can't open it. I have changed all that and I have fixed it. It's now uploaded with this. I went and checked it and I could open it and print it out so that it's not stupid and halves on one page and halves on the other page and it was just just a mess. 
So, you know, there's a big frenzy to get that list out there. And I should have done my, I should have double checked a little bit better that I was doing it the right way. So I apologize for that. But it is there now. This is my, let's get the cooties off my, my little sign here. This is my blog, www.estampabove.com. You can open that up in a new window. The first thing that's on there is the retirement list. I have them in PDF form, in Excel form, if you want to sort your own. And then I also have the links to the Stampin' Up! website, just as a triple checker in case the other links that I put on there weren't working properly. First thing I want to show you, um, I always send this out when somebody requests new catalogs from me. This is a um, beginner brochure is what it is, but I love it because it shows our beautiful um, looking up card kit in here. And this is a great gift idea or an, a great gift or a great idea for new stampers because everything's in the kit, including an ink spot and the um, stamp set. Now this is not retiring. This is not retiring. Oh yeah, I think this is. Delightful day, is that on here? Ooh, I think it is, I think it is. Wait, nope, it's not. Okay, I thought it was. Anyways, um, oh, I think maybe the punches. We'll get to that in a minute. Magnolia Blooms. This is another Magnolia set that kind of complements the big one in the annual catalog. It's called Magnolia Blooms. This is retiring, okay? And again, this is, this is a great... Um, display for beginner stampers or gift ideas makes nice. Then we have Celebrate with Cake stamp set. This stamp set I, I did, I think I used it for a Facebook Live or a simple stamping one time. But this set is super, super cute. It is retiring. And then the Hoot Hoot Hooray stamp set is also retiring and if you're interested in any of these they're on the retirement list they're listed the first thing on the spring mini catalog or um the annual catalog list they're listed right at the top so fun stamp sets i i really like i like this hoot hoot hooray one and especially the celebrate with cake they're super cute and fun and i i made all these cards like a ton of cards so anyways that's the that's the brochure. And then I think we'll hit the spring mini catalog. We've been doing so much out of this spring mini catalog. So um, there's a lot of sadness happening with some of the things that are retiring, but also happiness that you may or I may already have these items. So I don't have to be sad about them, right? But if you don't have them, and you want to get your hands on them. This is going to be it. So I've got my list right here. I went through and I highlighted everything that's retiring. So how's our screen looking? Am I taking up a good amount of space? Can you see this good? I don't want to, whoops, there goes my chain again. I don't want there to be a glare on here. So maybe I need to hold it up a little bit. Um, this is the From, From My Heart Suite and the faceted gems, the heart foil tins and the heart doilies are all retiring as well as the designer series paper. And just so you know, like all of our designer series paper pretty much retires every year. The punches and, yeah, my catalog is pretty used. The um, punches and the stamp set are carrying over to the new catalog. So that's exciting because I love these layering hearts, right? I don't know about the ribbon. Was that on the list? Yeah, let me look here. Yeah, it doesn't say. It doesn't say it's retiring, so I don't know. Um, then we have Thanks for the Laughs. This is that fun set that says no one will ever be as entertained by us as us. Thanks for the Laughs. And how did I get so lucky to have a friend like you? That's retiring. Also, our 3D embossing folder plate, that is being reconfigured into, I think they're changing the color of it or something, so just know that um, that's happening. Then Heart to Heart is retiring. Grace's Garden is retiring. Let me make sure this is on my list. We've got page 13. It's all right here. Da, 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 da. I don't see Grace's Garden on here. Why did I circle it? 
page. Oh, this is the annual catalog. Sorry, you guys. See, I've been away for a few days. I'm a little rusty. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's being reconfigured, I think. Heart to Heart is being reconfigured, too. So there's these little asterisks next to some of the items. You'll see the 3D embossing plate has three asterisks. The Grace's Garden has two. And if you go to the last page or scroll down on your screen, you're going to find out that two asterisks means while the items in these bundles are not retiring, they will no longer be available as a bundle. So you're not going to buy them together and get a 10% or 20% discount. And if it has three asterisks, it's not retiring. It's being reconfigured in our new catalog, meaning they're giving it a new number most of the time. So that's what's happening there. Um, heart to Heart is being reconfigured. I should not, dang it, I try so hard to get this right. I should not be doing that. And Grace's Garden is not retiring. And the framelits just came in for this. So that's really exciting. Yeah, it won't be a bundle. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks. And you guys... If you catch me saying something wrong, please feel free to correct me because, like I said, I this is a lot to go through and figure out and give the correct information. I certainly don't want to be giving you the wrong information. Um, Parisian Blossoms Designer Series paper, the ribbon, and the bundle are coming apart. Um, this stamp set and dies are also retiring. These two are carrying over to the catalog, and I think that this is page 15 that these are going to be in the new catalog as well as the embossing folder so that's exciting see I was feeling so confident when I was going through this marking it off and now I'm starting to stumble these are carrying over these are retiring okay uh, last a lifetime on page 18 is retiring, but the dies are carrying over. Remember those really pretty cards that I made with these dies? Ooh la la. And so sentimentals carrying over. Morning Star is retiring. This kind of makes me sad because these are really cute cards over here. And I do have this. And it matches the star dies. Uh, French Countryside is also retiring. The Peaceful Poppy Suite, you can't order the whole suite anymore. The sequins and the poppy elements are going away. The rest, and the paper, the rest of it is going to be in the new catalog. This pressed petals journal, that's going to be retiring also, just the journal. The beautifully braided and the beautifully, and the um, matching punch, the braided border punch, those are both retiring. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah says rhinestones are carrying over. I thought they were. The honey bee and the bee dies are retiring, you guys. That makes me so sad because that is so cute and unique. We don't have anything else like that, but I, I do own it. Um, perfectly framed stamp set and the breathtaking bouquet background stamp. I did a Joseph's coat technique with this on one of my videos. That's retiring. It's a big background stamp and perfectly framed. For those of you that are joining late, this is what we're doing tonight. I'm going through the retirement list because there's a lot of confusion around the retirement list. I'm not going to be stamping, but I do have a ton of swap cards to share with you and cards that people sent me that I'll share when we're done here. So just so you know, um, if you're waiting for stamping to start, that's not going to happen. Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper is going as well as the pom-poms and the bags. And I think the ribbon are carrying over. But the stamp set and the dies are going bye bye And you guys know how much fun I had with this cutie patootie little bundle. So that's sad. <laughs> the birthday jubilee is retiring as well as the jubilee dies. And I made some really pretty cards with that too. It was that fun fold. Mm, loved this. Label Me Bold is going to retire. The special someone and the dies that were a promotion in March are going to carry over. Witty Sisms, how much fun did we have with this stamp set? I'm sad that that is retiring. My catalog needs to retire too. <laughs> then we have um, Tropical Oasis Designer Series Paper, the Coastal Weave Embossing Folder, the Trinkets, the Burlap Trim, the Tropical Oasis are all retiring. I don't know if that stays on as staying. It wasn't on the list, so I'm assuming we're going to keep it. 
did we ever get it? Like I have it, but it was we, there was some kind of ordering problem with it. Um, tropic, timeless tropical and the tropical dyes are staying. I circled them by accident, and then I wrote no. Layered with kindness is retiring. We're keeping the umbrellas and the tulips, so that was super exciting, right? I know I love the embossing folder too, Nancy, for the coastal weave. I'm 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 sad. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm sad that Witty Sisms is retiring too, Anna. It was a cute little set. Full of happiness is going, Easter promise, and welcome Easter. How much fun did we have with that? I had a whole kit class with that that was just adorable. Now, I'm really sad that Country Club is retiring. Um, the paper, the twine, the Country Club wood elements... Um, the embossing folder is staying. That wasn't on the list, so I hope I'm not wrong about that. But the stamp set and the dies are so cool. And I haven't even used them yet, you guys. That's what I have out right here to use for my split coast. Oops, I just dumped my designer paper on the floor. For my split coast tutorial. I don't know if I'm going to change my mind on that or not. Let me pick my paper up that just fell on the floor. I was pretty excited to see that By the Dock is still staying because I really like this and I have a lot of other things that I want to do with it. Outdoor barbecue and pedal to the metal, both going bye bye And then we have the Do the Impossible is also retiring. The Mountain Air is sticking with us. I'm really happy about this because I own this bundle and I have not used it yet. Like, that's how crazy things get, right? The best dressed. The tassels, the little note cards, the ribbon, and the paper are retiring, but the stamp set and dies are sticking around, so that's cool because I just did a kit class with that. Music from the Heart I'm Sad to See Going. I thought this would stick around for a little while. But um, it's a really cool set, and I had a lot of fun with it. And if you like music at all, this is really cool. Then we have Three Cheers for You. This is one of our kits. That's retiring. As well as Seriously the Best Kit. I actually showed that to you guys. Oh, it's right here under my desk. This kit right here, this is so fun. It makes a really nice gift, too, to give to somebody. But these cards... We're just so pretty. They're easy to make. They were really fun. Got the printed envelopes. Loved this. Loved, loved, loved it. And I just gave away one of these medleys to my team. And I found out yesterday that she didn't get it yet. And my tracking number says that it never got picked up from my house. Great. But I know it did because I put it out there and it's not here anymore. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. $70. Anyways, this is an awesome, awesome medley. Use it our distinctive stamps, which are just so real life looking. Beautiful. That's retiring. Then we have all these fun little samples. The only other thing in here that's retiring is the Make a Splash stamp set. And I think that from the live that we're doing tonight and the fact that I just hit my um, 900 and whatever, 30 or $40,000, I forgot already because I can't remember. My $940,000 career to date sales. I have one of these. It's brand new. And I think that I will do a drawing and give this away when I come on live again. So that'll be fun. This is super cute, by the way. Thanks for making me smile today. You always make a splash. Just keep swimming. And it's the little things. How appropriate are those sayings for the craziness that's going on right now? Jean says she's sad about the music from the heart, too. Yeah, I totally, I'm with you. That made me sad. Okay, so that's our mini catalog, you guys. Then I am going to bring in the big kahuna. And hopefully I have this right. Please, my I know my team members are on here. Let me know if I am telling people something wrong. Now, I'm a little confused about the heirloom frame dies and 3D embossing folders. Did anybody see these in the new catalog? Because they're listed right here as retiring. But when you get to the back of the book, they're not listed at all. So I'm not really sure. And I tried to find out an answer from some of my demonstrator friends about that. And I, they, I don't know. I don't think they answered me. So I'm not sure what's going on with those. But... 
Um, here's a card is sticking around. Pop of Petals. This one is going to be gone. I'm looking at your comments. Yeah, the Timeless Tropical and the Tropical Dyes are in the new catalog. They won't be bundled anymore. So if you want to save that money, then um, you get them before they retire. And Sarah just told me that the heirloom frames and dies are not in the new catalog. So um, we'll get to those when we get to the back of the catalog. But I just use those. So, oh, and Dina said they're retiring. Okay, it was very confusing for me. Um, okay, here we go. Pocket full of happiness. This matches our pocket dies. That's retiring. Label me pretty is retiring. Amazing everything and pretty pavilion. Those are both retiring. And Linda says she's joining late, but she's grateful I'm going through the catalog. There's lots of info and she's just reviewing the list. I know it's, it's kind of crazy. That's why I decided to do this. Spe special celebrations. This is one of my favorite um, sentiment sets. That's retiring. That makes me sad. Then when we start getting into the sweets, it gets a little goofy, but the Royal Peacock stamp set is retiring. And I did look and these foil papers that I just love, they're retiring also. So that makes me sad. Parcels and petals, I believe I wrote that down by accident. And this is on page 27. Nope, it's being um, reconfigured. So they're going to separate the bundle. So it's going to be in the catalog. Okay. Then we've got On to Adventure, Grandma's House, and Cuckoo for You, all retiring. Janet Rose says she just placed her order. Good for you. This stuff is going really fast. Now, the stamp sets, you guys, will be available till I don't know, like May 22nd. We will um, continue to make the stamp sets if we run out of them because we manufacture those. The rest of the stuff is while supplies last. So if we have like a hundred of them in stock and they're all sold, meaning paper or dies or punches or stuff like that, when we run out of those hundred, we're not going to order more. So that's why it's while supplies last. But Botanical Bliss is retiring. Um, over the moon. Here's the cow set. Look at how cute these little boxes are. That's retiring. As well as this little piggy. And Young at Heart. Three fun stamp sets. Delightful Day is retiring. Flourishing Phrases is retiring. That makes me sad. I love, if you guys need an all-around wonderful stamp set, this is the bomb. Like, I have used this more for sympathy cards, get well cards, and just a note cards. The dies that are... Um, coordinate with this are amazing. This is the best, I think the best bundle ever. I love it. Okay, then we come into the Magnolia Lane. Magnolia Lane is sticking around. The paper is going to retire. And don't forget, we also have Magnolia Lane bulk designer series paper. When you go to the online store, you just type in Magnolia Lane bulk and that um, item will come up for you to select. The Verdant Garden is retiring as well as the Designer Series paper. Stitched all around and the dies that go with it are retiring, you guys. Look at these fun dies. Like, oh, I'm sad. Janet said the dies are sold out. For the flourishing phrases, Janet, is that what you're referring to? Let me know. Because I was, lo I looked over the discontinued list before I came on here, and what I found is there's some stuff on there that is not gone. The flourish dies are still in the store. There's um, item called one four one four seven eight, and if you go there and try to order them right now, one four one four seven eight. They are still in the store and available. So that discontinued list that we demonstrators or um, discount shoppers can see, the one that's from the Stampin' Up! website that you have to be on my team to get it or somebody's team, it's not correct. So I called. I actually called and spoke to Caden. I have a whole list of things here that are gone, and there's some things on that discontinued list that are not gone, and we will talk about that. Because I know that you guys think 
there's things gone that aren't and that's what I thought too and I I double checked I went and took those item codes to the to the online store and they are available not all of them but a lot of them winds of change and enjoy life as well as hold on to hope now you guys the um hold on to hope dies I don't see those on this list these are fabulous for if you have um, a wedding, a sympathy, a baptism. The, the cross dies and the dies that match these are just wonderful. This is like one of those sets that you keep forever because it's timeless. Hold on to hope and the uh, cross of hope dies. They're shown on page 192. Then we get to skip a page. Woohoo! This retirement list was so long, wasn't it? Heartland, beautiful if you love to do coloring. We have Peaceful Place. This is also gorgeous. Both retiring. Accented Blooms, I'm really sad about this because I love the tailored tag punch, and that's retiring too. Barn Door and the Barn Door dies are retiring. <coughs> Modern Heart is retiring. I actually got to meet, um, this is one of our German demonstrators, Steffi, and I got to meet her on our last incentive trip. Super nice. Meet her and I think, I don't know if it's her husband or boyfriend, but whoever she was with, um, I got to meet him too. And he was super nice. So it starts with art, retiring. Ride with me and the dies are retiring. Oh, I better go back to my page in case you guys are telling me something that I'm doing wrong. Um, Debbie says, so long. I know it was a really long list. I'm sad. I'm really sad to see colorful seasons go, you guys. Colorful Seasons and the Seasonal Layers dies are one of another one of my all-time favorites. Now, the Seasonal Layer dies are also on that list that demonstrators can see that are supposedly gone. They're not gone. They're in the store. So if you want to get them, get them before they're gone. But this with the dies is just, you've got everything in here. You've got summer, spring, fall, winter. Beautiful, beautiful stamp set. Sweetly Swirl, that's another super cute one that's retiring. Check You Out, I just bought this for Haley because she wanted it to make cards for her for her students. Um, for the Win is retiring and You Always Deliver. This is really cute for your mailman, UPS man. Any type of delivery person is really fun. Varied Vases and Vibrant Vases. These are wonderful stamp sets, too. I've had a lot of fun with them over the years. They've been around for a while. I have the birthday goodness. I don't even know if I used it, you guys, but I just loved it. It's super, super cute. And then birthday backgrounds. I know I use this. That's retiring. Piece of cake. I did a whole online class with this one. Amazing. I made some really fun things with the wish for it all. And, of course, I love that it has a crown, right? Because, uh, yeah, you know, I, I like the crowns. I better pull this down a little bit so you can see. And then, oh, Diana says she thought she saw the tailored tag punch in the new catalog. Um, let me see. I thought I heard that both of them. Oh, it is. The tag punch is not retiring, you guys. Okay, sorry about that. Um, that's the one that goes with the accented blooms. Let me find it again. I don't wanna. I don't want you freak. There we go. Accented blooms. That punch is not retiring. But I'm sad this stamp set is going. But thank you, thank you so much. That's what I want you guys to like. Um, keep me honest. <laughs> oh yeah, Marilyn. I just pulled it down. I'm so sorry. I had it pushed up too far. Okay. Then we have perennial birthday. Another one of my favorites. I just always gravitate towards this happy birthday and here's to celebrating you. And there's a lot of fun elements in here. Broadway birthday. Another really cool set that's got some fabulous dyes to go with it. The vibrant vases punch is not retiring either. Just the, st the, the stamp sets are retiring though, right? I got that right. Not the punch. I don't think I said the punches are retiring. Let me double check here. I've got my, I've got my list right here. Page sixty one. Nothing is ret. Oh wait. The vibrant, yeah, vibrant va vases on page. Yep, these two stamp sets are retiring. Okay. Whew. The punch is carrying over. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I can always count on you guys. I love you. Merry Christmas to all. This is like an awesome set, and the dies that go with it. Ah. Oh delicious. 
Lots of cheer retiring. I love this little snowman package thing. Making Christmas bright. I made some really, you know what? I remember um, making some Christmas cards. I think when I first started doing Facebook Lives using this set, I really liked it. And of course, the dashing deer is amazing. Was Winter Woods retiring or just the dyes are going? Yeah, just the dyes are retiring for that one. And I think those might be another set that are on that list that says that they're no longer available, but they are. Like, they're not sold out. Okay, pressed petals. Haley loves this paper. Like, she has a card over here that she just designed for one of my swaps that uses this paper, and she used it on her scrapbooking pages, too. Um, the paper will be retiring. And did I circle anything else? Um, all the rest of this stuff is in the back, so we'll get to it. Beautiful promenade, retiring. I made a lot of cards with this. Kindness and compassion. This is a really, really nice sympathy set. Um, yeah, I, I've used this. I like it. I like, look at how pretty that font is. I love the way they just kind of stamped it in that heart there. Okay, Dandelion Wishes is good. Aqua Painters are retiring. We're getting new ones. They're, they come three in a pack, you guys. So I'm excited about this. I think there's a small, medium, and large one. So, and I, I haven't had time. I had time to look through the new catalog online one time because we got to see it starting yesterday. But otherwise, I've been buried in things trying to get caught up so I can come back to you guys. <laughs> Artfully Aware is retiring as well as You Are So Loved. I'm so happy this stayed. Forever Lovely, I'm going to miss. I used that for an online class. Beautiful, beautiful. We'll... Walrus be friends. Like, that makes me so sad because the little guy is so cute. Um, here's to strong women also retiring, but I'm happy they're keeping this. Then we have beautiful bouquet and the dyes retiring and sorry for everything is retiring. And now it just made me realize I need to go through my shelves, my drawers, my everything and pull all this stuff out. What I usually do with my retired stuff is I pull it all out and I put it in a box so that I know it's retiring. And then um, I'll try to show you guys as much as I can with it. And you can make some informed decisions whether you like it and you're like, oh, I must have that or no, I don't know. <laughs> Love you to pieces, retiring. The puzzle piece die is listed as gone. And it is gone. The dies that go with this is out of stock. We don't have it anymore. But the set is still available. Genuine Gems and Welcome to the Team are both retiring as well as Above the Clouds. And then that um, Hot Air Balloon Punch is also going. Oh yeah, Peggy said that in the new catalog, there's um, a stamp set that would be awesome for Haley's scrapbook, the couples one. I agree with you. I did see that, Peggy, and I do remember it. Okay, Bird Ballad. Um, the paper's retiring, and then the rest of the stuff we'll deal with when we get to it in the back, but it's pretty much going to. Tropical Chick is retiring. The stamp set is not. I, let's go back. The bird, Free as a Bird stamp set is not retiring, but Tropical Chick is. Um, the Darling Label Punch, not only is it retiring, but it's out of stock. And Kim just said so many going. I know, Kim. But think of all the new stuff. That's what I keep going. Think of all the new stuff. It's going to be so fun. Daisy Delight is retiring. A big thank you and be thankful retiring. The Dinosaur Suite. Of course, the paper is retiring. The Dinosaur Set is not. And we're keeping wildly happy. I, might, I don't own this, but I've always looked at it. I think I might buy it now. I should write that on my list. Because I have always looked at this and admired it. And there's a baby thing in it. Because you guys know where I'm going, right? <laughs> Animal outing, fable friends, and little elephant all retiring. It's total sadness. All the cutie, cutie patootie things, right? Um, Kim says she's going to need a mortgage for all the stuff I want. I know, Kim. We can go to the credit union and apply together. <laughs> all right. Wiggle worm retiring. Happy tails and nine lives are retiring, but the punches aren't. So I thought that was interesting. I think there's new punches. Or I mean... New stamp sets to go with the punches. Can you guys back me up on that? I think I think I saw that. Perennial Essence. 
The stamp set is sticking around. Paper's going and the other stuff is going too. The praiseworthy prose is going. I say hello. I say hello. Yeah, you know that song. I don't know the words to the rest of it. So, And nobody wants to hear me sing. I guarantee it. <laughs> I'm happy that Inspiring Iris is sticking around because I bought that. Yes, indeeders. Um, Fanciful Fragrance and, did I say that right? Yes, Tea Together are retiring. Lovely is the day, beautiful you. I'm going to be sad to, um, for this to be going. Remember I used... I used one of these, Wishing You Brighter Days to Come, in a card that I made recently. But I love this. I made a lot of stuff with that, especially when it first came out. Lovely is the day, retiring. This one makes me especially sad, you guys. Abstract Impressions. I have used this so much. I want to say we did an online class with it. It is just so easy to use. I love the fonts. I love the sentiments in it. I love that you can use it with bright colors. I love the dyes that go with it. I'm really going to miss this one a lot. Swirly frames sticking around. Okay, mosaic mood. <clears throat> this is retiring and of course the paper is going. Oh, and Carolyn said that's one of her favorites. Yeah, I totally, I'm with you. Um, Budding Borders and Painted Glass retiring. I'm really happy that Beautiful Friendship is sticking around because that's a really pretty one. Uh, this one is staying. I made a mistake on that. that. That one's staying. Twinkle Twinkle. This one is retiring. I just bought that for Haley too. <laughs> Garden Goodness. I always liked the set, but I never got it. That's retiring. I saw somebody do something really cool with these grapes on a background like it wasn't even grapes it was just they used these on a background it was really cool oh kind of like they did here you guys on the bags uh, well that's grapes but this one isn't anyways it's a cool it's one of our distinctive stamp sets i think and um it looks real life <clears throat> let me make sure my messages are scrolling here <laughs> jenny says her list is at eleven hundred ninety four dollars and twenty five cents she's got to get back to work I understand. I get it. Painted Harvest. This is another one. Um, when this first came out, like I used it just constantly. The cards you can make with this are so beautiful. And while it looks like a sunflower, look at the red flowers. It doesn't have to be sunflowery, but I really loved this set a lot. It was one of my favorites. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is Rare Blessings. Retiring. Another of those distinctive stamps, Slice of Happiness. And this is really pretty, too. Look at the kiwi, right? That's what that's called, right? Yeah. Kiwi? Yeah. Kiwi? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> that's a pomegranate, and those are grapes. I know those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Beautiful Day. Another fabulous, fabulous stamp set. Look at this pretty card that they made. Um, I did a lot with this. I really enjoyed the big bold lines and coloring it in. Or you can just emboss it in white and sponge over it and have beautiful, beautiful um, images. Thanks. Kim goes, yes. And Marcia's sighing at me because I don't know my fruit names. <laughs> you're funny, Marcia. I think that's why you're sighing at me. Okay. See a silhouette. We've been using this paper a lot lately, so you know that that's going away. Tasteful textures. I just, look at, that's the card I made, you guys. It's going bye-bye. That makes me sad because there's a lot of other things. Maybe I'll use this for my next Facebook Live. There's a lot of other things I want to do with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Leave a little sparkle. Cute little um, unicorn set. Magical mermaid and stargazing. That one makes me sad. That's a really, really pretty set. The framelits with it are amazing. And yeah, Kim says, you know they just taste good and that's all you need. That's right, Kim. Wonderful moments retiring. That makes me sad too. That's a really nice set. I have it and I've used it many times for showers, whether it's a wedding shower or baby shower and, and bridal. Yeah, pretty cool. First Frost, did a whole online class with that. Love it. Retiring. Capture the Good is retiring as well as Love What You Do and Born to Shine. Pump Sail Away. 
paper retiring. All the stuff that goes with it is pretty much retiring. Um, we're going to keep going here. Lily Pad Lake. That's a fun set. Best Catch. Great masculine set. Country Road. All three retiring. Yeah, Wonderful Moments, Debbie said. Where's Wonderful Moments? Which one was that? Okay, hang on a second. I gotta look something up here. Is this is this retiring? 148. Rooted in nature, staying but not the dies. Yeah, that's the way I understand it too. I'm looking right now to make sure that I didn't forget this one. It is not retiring, but the dies are. Isn't that weird? They must not be selling them. I don't know. Artisan Textures Retiring. Again, I'm on page 152. Then we have Sea of Textures Retiring. Let It Ride. This is an awesome set. I had a lot of fun with it. That's Retiring and Gallery Grunge. Both Retiring. Handwritten Crackle Paint Around the Corner and Boca Dots. All Retiring. We're getting some new um, background stamps, so that's exciting. Crafting Forever and Lined Alphabet, both retiring. And Haley, with her scrapbooking, she used this Make a Difference to make her own words a lot because they're a nice size. So I'm glad that's not retiring. Okay, all um, neutrals, all the designer paper is going, you guys. All the 6x6 six six is going. Now we're going to get into um, some of the... Um, I don't want to call it disposable, consumable products. That's what I want to call it. Let me raise my light up here. Aqua painters are gone. Darling pocket punch box is gone. The brights, neutrals, and in color six by six papers are gone. The 12 by 12 pockets for your scrapbook pages are gone. Gold faceted gems, the half wood cases, the puzzle pieces dies. Basket weave folder and the woodland fold embossing folders are gone. So when we get there, that's what I found when I double checked against my online store tonight. So, yeah, and Kathy said she can't believe they're keeping some of the million dollar stamp sets around a little longer. You know, Kathy, that's funny that you bring that up because I was under the assumption that the million dollar sets would always last more than a year, but they're not. Like Donald Shevsky's music set that's in the spring mini catalog, that just came out and they're retiring it. So I don't get it. So maybe, I, apparently I was wrong, right? That my thinking didn't have any, um, <laughs> there was nothing to ground that, I guess. I don't know. Okay, um, don't pay attention to that. All the in color for the 2018 to 2020 is retiring. If you guys don't have ink pads or re-inkers to go with your ink pads or you want to get some extra card stock or you want some of these, um, embellishments now one thing I freak I can't, I'm not even telling you about some of this stuff you guys is on sale like the best catch stamp set is on sale 40% off for $12 oh completely forgot about this lovely lips oh I don't know why that's over there um 30% off a bunch of the designer series paper here we are we're coming into it right now so 30% off 60% off the woven threads, and this is, oh, this one right here, 60% off. You can get a whole pack of 12 by 12 of this for $4.60, as well as the follow your art paper. Holy cow, that's crazy stuff. Um, a lot of the other papers, the Come Sail Away, the Noble Peacock um, foil sheets, these are all retiring, but they're not on sale. Okay, so we must be kind of low on inventory on those. Then, some of these things. Of course, all of the um, in-color 6x6 designer series papers retiring, as well as the bird ballad laser cut cards and tin, foil edge cards and envelope, and the scalloped note cards and envelopes. Perennial essence vellum, we just used that not too long ago. The black foil sheets and all of the glimmer paper. Bye-bye. Pearlized doilies, shimmer detailed laser cut specialty paper. I just used that for um, some cards recently. That's retiring. And I think that's on sale too. Let me look. Well, page 169. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is on sale. The um, silver glimmer paper is only $3.50 a pack. 
The doilies are only $2.70. The rose glimmer paper is $3 a pack. And then the shimmer detailed laser cut specialty paper is $5.80. You can get it for like holy cannoli. That is crazy. 12 by 12 pages are on sale. The pressed petals journal is $6.50. It's not on sale. I thought it was on sale. Um, the Memories and More card packs, we just used the Magnolia Lane one. Um, that is not on sale. Let's see. The Tags and More accessory kit is on sale, 20% off. Press Petals washi tape, I just showed this to you guys the other day, is on sale. Follow Your Art washi tape is on sale. And the embellishment kit is $6.60, regularly $11. That's 40% off. Then we have our um, Night of Navy Sahara Sand Baker's Twine for $2.80. Uh, copper tea tins are 40% um, off. They're only $9 versus $15. White Baker's Twine, Metallic Thread, the Nature's Twine, the Gusseted Cello Bags, the Baker's Boxes, and the Copper Dotted Treat Bags all on the retirement list and um, yeah most of those are not on sale okay ribbon boom 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 the lace trim is staying copper trim classic weave or textured weave um, textile ribbon satin ribbon black satin ribbon that makes me really sad the leaf ribbon is going the burlap ribbon I love the burlap the woven threads is going and also the crinkled seam binding I love that stuff as well as the in colors. We knew those were going to go, right? Yeah. Candle embellishments. Let's see. What kind of sales are we having on this stuff? What's 60% off? Oh, my goodness, you guys. This is 60% off, this woven threads. Yeah. $3.20 for a roll versus 8 bucks. That's a really good deal. Oh, the flax ribbon. I'm so going to miss that. I, I've used that a lot. And I like the mini stripe, too. Okay. So I'm going to stop crying in my... Crying in my what? What do they say? What is that saying? I'm going to stop crying in my milk or crying in my tea or crying in... I don't know. Anyways, I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm looking forward to all the new stuff I get to play with. That's what I'm doing. Embellishments in color, of course, are going. The candle embellishments. Haley just found those in my drawer and said she thought they were super cute. Those are retiring. Classic garage elements. The pink rhinestone gems. The perennial essence floral centers. The flower... Faceted gems and the Magnolia Lane cork embellishments all retiring. Crying in my beer. That's right. Thank you guys. My gosh. The other day, um, I was talking to my mom and I, I was trying to say that saying that says, You got to make hay while the sun is shining. But I couldn't remember the last part I said. So I said to my mom, I'm like, Yeah, you know, you got to make hay when, when that saying that everybody says. <laughs> and she started laughing. You should hear my mom laugh. You guys think I laugh a lot? Oh. People know her, the Amish store where she goes. She's friends with the girls that work there, the Amish girls. And they call her the lady that laughs a lot. That's what they call my mom. Okay. Happiness Blooms enamel dots. And yeah, Marcia says, what's the saying about not looking back only forward? Or crying in your Cheerios, Valanda said. That true, that true. <laughs> crying in your soup, Wendy, crying in your soup. Okay, don't, yeah, yeah, don't cry over spilled milk, but crying in your beer, crying in your soup. Okay, I'll try to remember that, you guys. Gone, gone, gone. Gone, gone. I love these. Gone. These are all gone. Um, we're keeping the metallic pearls and the woven sequins, and that looks to be about it. Everything else is gone, and if I look on here, it's all on sale. Holy, ooh, look at these. These cork things, Haley just used them on her scrapbook. Do I have her scrapbook? Wait, I think she might have dropped it off. Let me see if it's over here. She did, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So when we're done, I'll show you this in its entirety. And you'll see that she used a lot of these really cool elements. Okay, so these cork elements, $3.20. Did I already say that? Um... The classic garage metal deals, these are $2.80. Those are 60% off. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I'm going to miss the noble peacock rhinestones. That makes me so sad. Heart epoxy droplets, the glitter enamel dots. Oh, that's a bummer. 
Diner Roar Shapes, Designer Elements. I have a ton of these because we only use one color for a big stamp camp. So I've got like 10 or 15 sheets of the other two. <laughs> um, the Faceted Dots, the Faceted Gems, and the Gingham Gala sequins. I love these too. I love those other sequins too. I use these a lot and these. All right, next. Oh, you know what? That was the one thing I was looking at. Where's page 179? I think I might have skipped something here. Oh, this is where the blends start. Ugh, this is so yucky. So these blends aren't retiring, right? But what I was looking for is, are we keeping the sprinkles and the watercolor pencils? Who knows that? Because I couldn't find them in here. And I don't really know where they would be. Like, I'm, I'm not... I'm not sure because there's so much and I just didn't take the time to like read through it line by line. Ugh, poke my eyes out. Yeah, Debbie's sad that the um, peacock rhinestones are going too. I know. I, I love those. But the holiday rhinestones are going to be in the new catalog. So we still have pretty rhinestones. Um, the sprinkles, pigment sprinkles are retiring. Yeah, that's what I thought they were retiring, you guys. But I can't find them on this list. So, do you know, are the watercolor pencils, are they staying? Pencils, yes. Sprinkles, wait, what did that say? Sprinkles are retiring. Okay, thank you very much. I'm sad to see that because I love the sprinkles. You know, when I did a bunch of cards with them, I actually took them outside and I put some of my grid paper on the grass and I put my watercolor paper down there and I went around and I sprinkled on each one of them. I had like a huge layout of all these pieces. And then I went with my spritzer and I just stood up and spritzed them and left them outside so that there was no mess and they all dried quickly. It was so much fun. My husband was laughing at me. Like, what are you doing back there? Okay. Lynn says the blends aren't going, but you will be able to order them in combos. Okay. So somebody came in a little late. The blends are being reconfigured. We're no longer going to sell them individually, meaning you can't get a light if you only need a light or a dark if you only need a dark. They're only going to come with light and dark together. So while it looks like on the retirement list they're gonna get rid of them all together, that is not the case. They're just reconfiguring them. Okay, whew, I'm glad the watercolor pencils are staying. I need to use those more. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot this page. <laughs> okay guys, we're in this together. Oh no, I circled the black journaling pens. What did I miss? Di Dazzling diamonds glitter. And then it went right over to this page. But I know the aqua painters are going. What happened here? Huh. Aqua painters are retiring, right? I'm not, I'm right about that, right? Oh yeah, and the sprinkles are 20% off. 25% off. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. Journaling pens are retiring. Everything else here is staying as far as I know. But aqua painters are on the list as out of stock. And they are out of stock because I checked. You can't buy them right now. But we we do have new ones coming. Okay. Yeah, Peggy says that's crazy. So many times one, one stamp and blend marker will give out before the other. And I completely agree with you, Peggy. But here's what I... This is my opinion of what I think is happening. I think that tons and tons of people are buying the combo packs and they really don't use them. They don't use them hardly at all. So the research and the, um, the history of the ordering behind the Stampin' Blend markers is that the majority of people are always ordering them in combos. They're not, very few people are ordering singles and it's only us who do a lot of coloring that are ordering singles. So Stampin' Up! had to make a decision. And if you wanna go back and watch from the beginning, I kind of explained it all. It's not something that is um, real beneficial for me either, believe me, I get it, but it is what it is. Okay, um, Embossing Buddy is still in the new catalog. Nope, the Embossing Buddy is gone. The Embossing Buddy is retiring and it is no longer available. That is what I heard. Could somebody confirm that for me? Well, Diana, the reason why the Embossing Buddy is going away is because nobody's buying it anymore. Everybody has one. And so you can't keep inventory on the picking lines when it's not being sold. You know what I mean? Yes, we do need them. And once in a while, I'm sure Stampin' Up! sells one, but not enough to take up a space. And that's just kind of the the um, nature of 
selling stuff is you have to keep moving your inventory and if your inventory isn't moving it needs to get out of there so you can put some inventory in there that does move you know yeah no more embossing buddy okay I was right about that pattern party decorative masks are going embossing powders black copper shimmer black and shimmer white going bye-bye we will not carry them anymore or are you guys ready for this one Dazzling diamonds glitter can we all have a moment of silence I know right how can they do that but nobody's using it anymore and good proof of that remember that um, this card look I got this card right here remember this card that we made the other day this was the first time in literally months that I, maybe a year, that I have used Dazzling Diamonds Glitter. And I used to use it on every other card. But I don't use it anymore. Glitter is not a hot item right now. Believe me, when it comes back and all of these things tend to cycle, right? They are trendy. They will come back. When it comes back, we will have this again. Right now, we're going to have a small funeral for it. And we will welcome it, welcome it back with open arms when it comes back in the future. That's the way I feel about it. Yeah. So, and thank, thank goodness that some of our embossing powder is, is staying. And Wink of Stella. Yes. Who just said that? Mary Olson. Wink of Stella is huge. And I'm so glad they're keeping that, right? So, uh, okay, we've covered it. And, and we had a lot of words with it. <laughs> The stamp cleaning pad and refill are going away. Now, that brings me back to this. One of you contacted me and said you were having an issue with your stamp cleaning pad. Something funny happened to it that I didn't think should happen. And I said, I will replace that for you. That should not have happened. I ordered this, but I didn't write down who told me that. And now I can't remember. And I've had it for like three months now. If you're the one who contacted me about the stamp cleaning pad, please email me, do something to get in touch with me so I can mail this to you. I'm so sorry. I should just know better. I have no memory. Why do I think suddenly I'm going to have a memory? I do not. But anyways, going away, the half wide cases, these are the real short little like chubby ones. We're not selling those, so they're getting rid of them. The refill for the stamp and mist. I completely understand this because people aren't using Stampin' Mist as a rule. We're all going with these amaz amazing chamois. And can I just tell you, this is the best stamp cleaner I have ever used in my life. If you don't have one, you should try it out. It's only $8 and you will love it. No more buying this and running out of it and all the things. I love, I love the chamois. Okay. I went off on a tangent, didn't I? <laughs> Um, I do not understand this because I, you guys, I use this every time I stamp. I don't even know what I'm going to do, except that I have a ton of these and I'm probably going to keep using them. But my friend Barb said that they have the, um, there's a new mat coming out with the die cutting stuff that may be kind of the same thing. And that's why they got rid of the piercing mat because that mat will work just as good. And we can't have two of kind of the same thing in you know, taking up space, basically. Snail adhesive, bye-bye. We are getting new adhesive, and I'm really excited about this because snail adhesive is not my favorite. You guys know I'm a liquid glue girl, but even when I have to use snail adhesive, it's still not my favorite. They're bringing in, um, like, kind of a snail, kind of some type of adhesive and a tape runner, and then another one that's more like... Um, Fast fuse, remember fast fuse, but we're not going to have that do the check mark thing to get it to stop coming out. I've heard that this works much easier and we're going to love it. So I'm excited about that. See all of this excitement because while this is going away, we have all this exciting stuff coming our way. The Stamparatus replacement plates, they're not going to sell those anymore. And I already bought some and I'm really glad that I did. So if you don't have any extra plates for your Stamparatus, you may want to consider adding this to your order before they're gone. And the reason why I say is if you do a card that has a lot of steps, it's really nice to have those extra plates. You take the plates with the stamps on it out, bring the plate with the stamps in, and you have a whole bunch of different ones you can do. Just a thought. Oh, and we do have the Stamparatus foam mat too. I'll probably start using that. Maybe that's why. Oh, you know what? I think that is what I heard is that we have this so we don't need that other piercing mat. Okay, 
punches. Oh, look at there's the Taylor tag. It is not retiring. So we need to have a moment of silence for the starburst and the scallop punches, but mostly the starburst. You guys know how much I use this, right? I love the starburst because it coordinates with the two inch circle and it's quick and easy. Oh, so gonna miss it. So gonna miss it. Decorative ribbon border. I will miss that one too. I've used that quite a bit over the years. The four petal flower. Eh, I don't know. I've never really used it much. I did use it to do the flowers on the jars. Remember, is that, yeah, that, is that, no, that isn't even the one I used. So never mind. Where's the flower one I used? Oh, I used this one. It's not retiring. So never mind. Let me put that back so I don't drop it. Okay, back, back to work here. The leaf punch. I like this punch a lot, and I'm sad to see it going. And I don't know what they're thinking. Like, this is the one thing that I'm like, what could you possibly thinking be thinking? One inch and half inch circle punch. Boom. Gone. So, having a punch that size is just so handy. It's so quick rather than die cutting, die cutting, die cutting. I am a punch girl. I love the simplicity of punches. Don't get me wrong. I love the delicate things we can do. And the intricate things we can do with the dies. But punches, quick, 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 quick. I love punches. So I'm really sad about that. Pretty label punch. Nah. <laughs> I've used it, but I, I think we could do better. That's just my two cents. Twinkle Builder, Circle Tab, Hot Air Balloon, Elephant Builder Punch, Cake Builder Punch. All going bye-bye. And there's that Basis Builder sticking around. I'm glad our butterflies are sticking around. Woo! That would have made me really sad. Dies. Now it's time to say goodbye to the big dogs. These are expensive. <laughs> um, they're expensive to replace too, but I love new dies. I'm not going to lie. Animal friends, arts and crafts, beautiful layers, botanical tags, bouquet bunch, Broadway lights, catch of the day, all going. Lisa says she thinks that everyone um, uses the circle punches too. And, and obviously... Stampin' Up! is not selling them, and they're taking up two spots. You know what I mean? And, you know, as much as we love our stuff and we want and we're comfortable, and, and I am a creature of habit. Like, I do the same things day in and day out. I always get up in the morning and make my tea. I always then take my vitamins. I don't really take vitamins, but I have a whole bunch of pills I have to take. I take my pills, and maybe that's too much information. You're like, oh, and there it is. No, I'm just kidding. I have, um... Uh, arthritis and I don't I don't even know what else I gotta take a baby aspirin because the other stuff could give you a heart I don't know stroke or some crap I don't know but anyways I'm a creature of habit and then it's really hard when your habit gets broken right but I really do love getting new stuff like that's exciting even though it's kind of scary sometimes so that's kind of the way I feel about this all right so enough enough about me and my pills <laughs> I just can't um, crosses of hope. Here is that set of dies that I said. It's just so nice to have if you have um, religious weddings, um, sympathy cards, get well cards, baptisms, first communions. It's really nice. Cuckoo clock. Delicate lace. I loved these edgelets. So that makes me sad. Detailed deer. I like the deer too. I had a lot of fun with that. Here's the doily wishes with the crown. I'm sad to see that going. Flourish dies, you guys. This goes with the flourishing phrases. This is the stamp set that I said was one of those must have, goes with everything. This is just outstanding. If you don't own this, you need it. And I think one of my um, tutorials in my online class button uses the flourishing phrases bundle. So I'll tell you what, if you don't own this and you get it, I will be happy to give you that tutorial to go along with it. It's just so, so pretty. Frosted Bouquet. Loved this one. Hand-lettered prose. I know Haley just used it for her scrapbook pages. In the Woods is retiring. But if you look, there's only a few dies in here that really go with the stamp set. And the evergreen tree, you know, you can cut it out by hand. So I don't know. But obviously, they're still selling a lot of the stamp set, but not the dies, I guess. Lakeside, layering alphabet, $125. Bought it, never used it. Who does that? Have you guys ever done that? I know you have. Because 
all stampers have, right? You had to have something and you, you get it and it just sits there. Yeah. Layering circles, layering ovals, layering squares. Now don't panic. These are being reconfigured also. So we're still going to have circles, squares, and ovals in the layerings. It's just that we have to give them a new item code because they're going to be um, repackaged or something like that. Lovely flowers. Love this one. <laughs> Priscilla says she has a lot of stuff she hasn't used. Yeah, Jenny says these are being these are being repackaged. So, yep. <laughs> Helen bought those letter dies and never used them. Yep, me too. Lovely leaves. Merry Christmas. This is another really great one, especially for your, well, obviously Christmas cards, right? But I've used the happy for other things. Um, nature's Roots. Uh, another one. Is that the one we were just talking about or was I like kind of off on a tangent? Oh, In the Woods. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, nature's Roots. Another one. They're, they're keeping the stamp set, right? I think so. And they're getting rid of the dyes. So, you know, well, I don't know. Whatever. Pavilion. The Pockets. Puzzle Pieces are gone. Those... Bye-bye. All gone. Um, seasonal layers. Here are the dies that go with the, uh, what was that stamp set called that I just said I absolutely love? Something about, oh, it tells me right here. Hello. Colorful season stamp set on page 56. These are the dies that go with it. This is like a standard must-have if you're a stamper. It is so beautiful. That Adriatic chair is the bomb as well as all the other elements. But you've got all four seasons in there. I love that one. Sliding door. I have it. I don't even know if I ever used it. Maybe once. Um, springtime. But it does make really cool doors, you guys. Don't get me wrong. Like, I just never used it. But it makes really cool barn doors. And they slide. I love this one. This goes with abstract impressions the, um, from page 116. I'm really going to miss that. You guys know that. The names of the stamp sets that these coordinate with are right under here, right? Sometimes I forget that. Stained glass. Stitched be mine. Oh, I thought we were keeping that one. Is that really going, you guys? Did I mess? Oh, yeah, it is. Um, it also says if you're a demonstrator, it says that these are out of stock. They're not. So, um, stitched labels. Love that one. But the stitched be mine are still in stock. Rectangles, same thing. We're getting them reconfigured, so don't worry about that. That's not that's not going away, right? I, I'm pretty sure it's not. Meh. Okay, we still have those. Um, the support ribbon. This is also a great set. It matches page 178, the artfully aware stand. This is a cancer ribbon, and that's a good thing to have for, you know, people have cancer. I had cancer, so that's a really nice stamp set to have. Here's our tasteful backgrounds. I absolutely loved this. Um, I'll probably be making some things with it before it's gone. But then, you know, you that's the risk in the retirement list. I could work for an hour or two making up some projects with it. And by the time I go live, it's already sold out. So it's kind of a, you know, it's a gamble. Tea time. This thank you is amazing. That is an amazing die. I love it. Tropical truck ride under the sea. Wiggly bugs well written is retiring it says that it is exhausted on the demo side but it's not it's still in the store so don't pay attention to it and this is going see i didn't know so i'm like i don't know this one is going so the heirloom frames and dies you guys remember the cards that i made with the um hang on i'm gonna grab them i think i might have them right here with the lipstick bundle. Oh, and by the way, I got like 30 or 40 more thank you cards out in the mail. Well, now I can't find the card that I made with the lipstick set. But, oh, I probably shouldn't have showed that to you either. <laughs> that was one of my online kit classes. Okay. Whew. Um, I just used this frame for that lipstick card that I made. And I don't, I don't know where it is. I might have mailed it out. I've been grabbing cards in, that I've made and using them. So, yeah, it's possible. Okay, embossing folders. <laughs> Basket weave, already gone. It is out of stock as well as the wood, woodland is gone. The rest of them that are retiring is the corrugated. I just had this in my online class um, with, what was the last thing that I just did? Um, I think it was with the Bonanza Buddies. This was in there. Country floral, I'm going to miss that. High seas, I didn't use it that much. I really like the mosaic though. I'll miss that. Seasonal wreath, 
Tufted, I just used that for my online kit class. Beads and baubles, button, button, eyelet lace, and swirls and curls. Really like this one, too. Those are all retiring. I'm glad they're keeping the pine wood planks. The set, all of them, I'm glad they're keeping because I do use them and I love them. Okay. Kits for the love of felt. Retiring. Notes of kindness and lots of happy. I did a video on this. This is a super fun set and you get watercolor pencils in it. It comes with everything you need except adhesive and scissors. Like this is an amazing kit. Is that on sale? Who knows if it's on sale? Let's look. Page 202. Where is it? I forgot to even keep looking at all the good stuff here for sale. Page 202. Nope, it's not on sale because it's, yeah, it's pretty fabulous. <laughs> um, they must not have an excess in stock there. Okay, and of course you guys know that all of our host sets retire. You cannot buy these unless your order is over $150. When your order is over $150, you earn what's called stamp and rewards. And at $150, you earn 10%. When your order gets to 300, you earn 12%. When your order gets to 450, you earn 14%. And at 450, you also get one item at 50% off. And it goes up from there. But these are Stampin' Rewards. You use that money to buy these exclusive host sets that are in the back. They retire every single year. So they are all retiring. And I think that we did it. We did it. Yay. Okay, does anybody... Oh, are the well-written getting reconfigured too? Because I looked and they were still... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, you guys. Well-written are getting reconfigured. I looked and they're still in the online store. And that's why. So let me change that. I'm sorry. We're going to cross this one off. This is, this is a no. These are going to continue. Because they're in the new catalog, right? Okay. Helen asked, how are they being reconfigured? They might just be putting them in a new case. It might be because we had a big stock of them from when we had them from Sizzix and now we're ordering from uh, the new company that we have a contract with. It's a whole bunch of different reasons. Nothing is going to change about what they say or the images in them or how they cut. It's just probably a packaging and a new item code. So nothing to worry about. <coughs> Glenda says, I keep forgetting that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Me too. And then it gets confusing, right? It confuses me a lot. Okay, Whew. now I always like to store my retirement list in my catalog. This one's kind of big, but I've got that one and here comes this other one so that I have it handy so I can grab it and look at it. You don't want to wait on the stuff that's retiring because it could go out of stock. Um, you guys know that it's while supplies last. The woodland folder is staying. Jody, what it say that? I don't want to give people the wrong information here. Woodland is already gone. Like that's one of the items we can't even order it right now, I think. Let me look. Let me look. I don't want to give anybody bad information. Hang on. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, Woodland and Bossing folder, it's gone. We don't have it anymore. Now let me go look in the new catalog. I wish I could show you guys the new catalog because that would be really fun. But I will soon. Soon I will be able to do it. Um, I'm looking for all the embossing folders. This is different. Okay, here they are. Let's see. Hang on. Pinewood Planks is in the new. All oh, the woodland is in there, you guys. Oh my lord, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Darn it. I'm so sorry. Oh, let's put no. So that one is still in there. I thought it was gone as well as what was the other one that we just ran out of? I thought it was on the same lines with that one. Hang on. The basket weave. They told us it's gone and it's retiring. This one. So... I thought they said that about this, too. Oh, something just went over the edge of my desk. i got to get down there someday and clean that up. <laughs> it's in the crack abyss. <laughs> I don't even know what's over there. One day when I lose something, can't find it. Maybe my little pom-pom from my birthday bonanza is over there, right? Okay, I'm going to bring in Haley's scrapbook album. Let's see how bad the glare is. And... 
Oh my gosh, you guys know what? I never put my phone on Do Not Disturb, so holy cow, I'm really lucky that nobody called me. Okay, so here we go. I gotta get rid of, people are instant messaging me, I gotta get rid of this. Okay, so these are the first couple pages that she made. This was the um, woven textures papers that, no, no, uh, timeless something or another. What is this paper called, you guys? It's one of the designer series papers that she used in here. Does this look better when I do this? A little bit. A little bit better. Let's do that. Let's see how that works. There's kind of a delay. Oh, we're getting lots of hearts. Lots of hearts. Yeah, okay. So, this is, yeah, that texture, whatever that paper's called. And here we come. Look at all the heart dies. Yeah. And some more designer series paper there. Very, 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 very pretty. Is this, how am I doing? Am I got it in the thing right? This is tricky. Oh yeah, Jody said maybe it's a new number. Yeah. I bet you're right about that. And this is the one where she used the, um, the shimmer paint to sponge it on to make a heart background. Isn't that cool? She did those flowers. Look at all those little flowers. There's that leaf punch. She used that a lot. Here's some more little goodies. Very, very pretty. <gasps> Love this one. And I see in our new catalog that triangles are pretty hot right now. Jeez, who knew that? Uh-huh. Yeah. We do have some. She's like, Mom, do you have any triangle punches? Um, no. <laughs> we do not. But yeah, super, super pretty. Love this. Look at, there's my baby. There's my grandbaby, Weedley. Look at how cute she is. She's supposed to have a lot of hair, too. I hope we get to see her today. My daughter would work on that a little harder. <laughs> She's really dragging this out and letting me down. <laughs> I hope she's still watching. <laughs> she's at home rolling her eyes. And then we've got this. This is that Sea of Silhouette paper in the background, you guys, that she used all over this. And there's that edge border punch that's retiring. Doggone it. And the Starburst punch. Makes me sad. Some more beautiful, beautiful paper. And this is that, um, this paper. What is that called, you guys? I got this piece. What is that called again? That paper. That's all of this is that paper. Well, that's a cute outfit. I need to find that. <laughs> I don't know where that is. Yeah, so here's some more just beautiful, beautiful pages. I love all the elements that she pulls together, right? She's got the hexagony things with the flowers and the, I would never think to do that. I'm just not that, I'm not that creative. Okay, look at all these. Oh, here is one of those um, mm, cork elements from the Magnolia suite of stuff, right? So, so pretty. Ornate garden paper, that's what she used here. Beautiful. Here's that, oh, this is Ornate Garden too. All these little, she die cut all these 12 inch strips with the Ornate Garden um, edgelets. And that's it, folks. That's all she wrote. Okay. I am going to, oh, look at you. Look how many of you are still sticking with me. I thought you would have gotten bored with this whole deal. <clears throat> okay. Intermission. Time to take a drink. Mm. I think I'll leave my phone down so you can see the cards and actually they're not backwards. Here we go. This card I received from Jay Shante. Jay is on my team. And how pretty is this? Like seriously beautiful. I love everything about it. And oh my gosh, she says, you are the best. Thanks for introducing me to Stampin' Up! five years ago. Playing with my products makes my heart sing every day. I think this card front is probably the most involved thing I've ever made. <laughs> yeah, she made 50 of these cards. And look at all the die cuts on them, all of them. Holy cannoli. So it's a thank you card. And uh, Jay is on my team, and I adore her. She's a very good stamper. Thank you, Jay. Then we have a card here 
from Susan pa Pacheco. I hope I said that right. Look at how cute it is. It's for Haley and Jared. Look at how cute that is. Isn't it just adorable? Oh, wait, what happened? What did I just do? Did I just wreck something? It was, it was like stuck in there, but then I just did something. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I did. Oh, I think it was right in here and it came off because the mailman wasn't very nice to it. Okay, so I'll fix it. I'll put a dimensional on it. But look at how cute that is. It's a shaker card. Isn't that sweet? And this comes from Susan. And it says, congrats on your bundle of joy, Haley and Jared. I wish you all the best. From Susan, one of Kelly's viewers. How sweet is that? I'm going to fix that. Don't worry. Let me put that in here so I don't lose it. But I love the shaker element on there. That is just adorable. All right, then we have a card here from Joanne Prosser. Look at how pretty. This is the Magnolia. That's that paper that's in the bulk, you guys, that is retiring. Oh, and Joanne says, I just want to thank you. Look how pretty that is. I just want to thank you for the kerchief card kit. I made this card, so winning one really made my day. I love watching your videos. If I can't catch you live, I always watch the replay. You have bright many of my days since you started your daily live videos. I enjoy the interaction which takes my mind off what we are all going through. Please stay safe. I wish the best to you and your family. Look at how pretty that is. Thank you so much, Joanne. That is just the sweetest. Then I got this cutie patootie. And this is from Christina Cooperetta. Look at how pretty it is. This is cute. Look at It's a mini card of the one that I did with this layout, right? It says, sending hugs, thinking of you, and sending good thoughts. And Christina says, thanks for all the fun stamping ideas you've been sharing. I am cleaning out my stash of paper and old stamps. Thought I would share a modified version of one of your cards. It's been so fun to get creative and share some joy with friends and family. Take care, stay healthy, and God bless. Thank you, Christina. That is really sweet. All right, you guys. Are you sick of me yet? <laughs> This one is from Terry Davies. Look at how gorgeous this is. What? Yeah. Is that the coolest thing ever? I opened this up and I'm like, whoa. Very, very cool. This is a Z fold. And the Z part is actually the dies from that garden. I can't remember what it's called. Isn't that just crazy cool? So, Terry says just wanted to send a big thank you for all you do to get us through the day i have appreciated all your beautiful cards it's been a joy to get to know you and your family <laughs> thank you i have been self-quarantined since january as i have been having chemo oh she's got breast cancer i'm so sorry terry i hope that is going okay that's what i had um, so I have been having fun crafting with you, wishing Haley lots of blessings for her beautiful baby soon. I am sure you all can't wait. You got that right. Uh. Oh, and she says the envelope. That's right. I felt this when I got, whoops, I shouldn't show your address. When I got the um, mail, I'm like, what the heck is going on with this envelope? It's got seeds in it, you guys. So um, she says, the envelope has wildflower seeds planted in your garden. And I am going to do that it because it's all bumpily. Can you see the bumples on it? <laughs> the bumples. So these are like real seeds. I lost a couple. But these are real, whoops, let's do this. These are real seeds on here. So I am going to do that because I think that's going to be totally cool. I'll let you know what grows. One year, I um, groomed this one thing that was growing. I wasn't sure what it was, but I groomed it and groomed it and groomed it. And I kept weeding it and I kept watering it. And the end of summer came. And guess what? It was a giant weed. <laughs> oh, I showed you this one already. This was my um, magic thing. Oh, here we go. These are some swaps, you guys. So, the stitch so sweetly, I... I um, Got these swaps, and it's all using Stitched So Sweetly. So these are from my friend up in Minnesota, Sandy. Look at how pretty they are. So the Stitched So Sweetly is this part of the um, bundle. And then you could do anything else you wanted with them. We just wanted ideas using the Stitched So Sweetly. Aren't those pretty? Is it close enough? Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. I love how she wrapped the ribbon around this element. This is my favorite set of framelits. 
Yeah, you haven't seen me do much with them because they've been on back order forever. They were so popular. <gasps> these are killers right here. Look at these. Look at this awesomeness. Holy man, right? That's like a 20 pound card. It's gorgeous. And she used Stampin' Blends to color the ribbon. Nice, right? So pretty. Are you ready for the next one? This is for my friend Amy out in California. She lives in Simi Valley. Look at how amazing that is. What paper is that? Oh, it's like lemon paper. Sure. Look at look at this is funny. She forgot to take the backing off her dimensionals so they're not sticking. <laughs> I've done that. That's cute. But here's that leaf punch. Oh, I'm gonna miss it so much. The tag here is from the birthday bonanza dies. Very, very pretty, right? Amazing. Put those back. So usually I would make up a whole bulletin board with these cards from this suite. Friendship is a blessing. I like how this is on a diagonal. These are coming, by the way, from my friend Barb. She lives out in Wyoming. And then this calls for confetti. This is cute. The stamp set. This is the stamp set and the dies that she used on here. Very, very cute. Next. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think Haley designed my swap card for this. Let me look. Let me see where it is. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. What'd she do with it? I don't know what she did with it. I'm going to have to ask her. But um, I have some cards made with this bundle that I will probably do a Facebook Live for tomorrow. Okay, this is from... This is from Denise from New Hampshire. I met Denise when we were at a Stampin' Up! Um, event. I think, gosh, I don't know how many times, but I remember her last time in Florida. We had a lot of fun. Look at how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I like what she did with this layer on this layer, because that's part of that die set, too, the stitch so sweetly. Very, very pretty. And then we have Jeannie's cards. Jeannie is from Victoria, Texas. <gasps> With the poppy paper. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Love it. This is really pretty, too. Here we go. Gorgeous with the Prezian. Um, I don't remember what the paper's called. Prezian something or another. Paper. <coughs> yeah, gorgeous. Okay, next we have Jay Shante. Look at how pretty these are. Oh, this is actually the fold that I'm doing for my Split Coast Stampers tutorial. Shh, don't tell anybody. Maybe it's supposed to be a secret. I just blew that because I have a big mouth. But whatever. Isn't this cool? Look at how pretty that is. She's got a lot of stuff happening there. I love it. And here's her other card, which I thought was just super, super cute, right? I'll save some of these and show you how to make these. These are really fun and, of course, beautiful. Jada's exceptional work. And last but not least, here comes a set. And these are from my friend. I think these are from Ruth. Is it Ruth? Hang on. i got to find Ruth. Uh, yipper. These are from Ruth. These are from my friend Ruth. She lives in Fullerton, Colorado, or California. Look at these. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Ruth is a really good stamper, too. I adore her. There's that tufted embossing folder. I'm going to miss that. I really like that one. Okay, and here's her other card. And isn't this just kind of, um, I don't know, it just catches my eye. I really like it. The grays together and then silver embossed. Yeah, it's really pretty. Okay, you guys. Hang on, I'm going to flip you around. And hang tight. Close your eyes. We're flipping. Ah, there you are. My crown. I'm losing my crown. Look at my crown. It's way back there. <laughs> Get that crown back on my head. <laughs> you guys, it was so nice to spend a little time with you today. This took a lot longer than I thought it would, but I knew it was going to take long. So I don't know what I was thinking, just how long it was going to take, but I knew it would take a while. It's a lot to get through, right? That's a huge two. A huge catalog, a smaller catalog, lots of information, and then some chit-chat along the way. So I really appreciate you sticking in there with me. Thank you, Kathy Miller. Okay. Um, what did? Will you be the first ever with a million dollars of sales? Oh, no, Judy, I will not. Um, how many people, who knows? I, I gave that number out once because I heard it, and now I don't remember. 
how many million dollar achievers there are. Um, I almost want to say like around 10 maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I could be totally off on that. I really don't know. But um, yeah, it's quite a it's quite a big deal. And Stampin' Up! makes a huge deal out of it. And that reminds me, in the kitchen is my, I just got my $900,000 pin. And so um, maybe I'll show it to you guys. If I'm on tomorrow, and now with Haley having, um, you know, going to have that baby pop out any time. I hope she just pops out, but we know that's not going to happen. Um... I don't know exactly what my schedule is going to be, so just know that. But I, I do plan on coming back tomorrow with a Facebook Live. I just don't know when, and that could change depending on what happens with the baby. Vicki said 37. Okay, so it was either around 8 or 9, because somebody just told me 8 or 9, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's right, or 37, and that was the number. Yep, that's what I thought, 8 or 9 or 30. <laughs> but Judy, I will be in the 30s. I think when it happens like I'll be the 39th person or the 40th person in the company to hit that and um oh uh Joanne says she thinks around 27 at least two yeah there's two people that have hit two million already um but yeah I think it's I I want to say that it's around 30 we'll find out they'll tell me <laughs> I'm excited. There's a lot of stuff that comes with that. Holy cow. Like I get a $10,000 cash bonus. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I hope I do something smart because I'm a grown up now. <laughs> but the non grown up in me wants to just go on a really nice trip. <laughs> but that's not, you know, child, adult, child, adult. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to let you go because, well, I have to pee. Too much information. I know I'm usually good for that. And I'm getting a little hungry. Steve went golfing today. It is cold here. And he wore lined pants. <laughs> he goes, you think I should wear my lined pants? Uh, yeah, it's like 40 degrees. But he went golfing with his brother. So I hope he's enjoying himself because he really didn't get to golf much last year because his knee was wrecked. And his shoulders wrecked. Now, but whatever. He's wrecked. He's wrecked. He's just a wrecked man. <laughs> oh, that sounded kind of naughty. <laughs> Did you guys catch that? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I got tons and tons of messages that I missed. Oh, will I be designing a stamp set? Yes, I do get to design a stamp set. I was way up on messages, you guys. Sorry, my phone wasn't scrolling. Um, I'll be way up on messages and... Um, I, mean, <laughs> I will be designing a stamp set. See how that happens in my head. And um, I don't know. I have no idea what I want yet. I have no idea. Like, I don't know. You know, there's certain people who like certain things and they just know what their thing is. And I just kind of like everything. You know, it kind of goes along with my whole personality. Like, everything's just really scattered. <laughs> it's like really scattered in there. It's like bats flying around and hitting the sides inside my head. Maybe. Maybe. It's been really fun. I'm so glad you guys joined me tonight, today, this afternoon. I've taken up more than enough of your time. I will be back. Um, like I said, I got to get a swap out of here, and I probably should do that first. And then I'm going to be doing a tutorial for Split Coast Stampers. That'll be up next week on their website. And then I'll have, I have to work on Sunday Facebook Live, Sunday night Facebook Live, because I'll definitely be doing that. But I just got to. I'm still working and um, I still have a bunch of a bunch of thank you cards like I mailed out I don't know how many but I still got all of these labels <laughs> that I need to do well here's the deal you guys I don't have help here except Haley and Haley was making her own stuff like eating up my profits <laughs> that's what Steve said um, but she was making her scrapbook pages and I'm glad she got to do that. So I wasn't like, come on, Haley, I need you to do this, that, and the other thing because I can't have my help in that usually helps me do all this stuff. So I'm a little behind and, and you know what? We got COVID-19. I think nobody's going to complain about it. <laughs> Kits went out in the mail though. I'm really happy about that. I did get them all out in the mail. So that was good. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Please share my video. I really appreciate it. If you know any stampers, they may want some tips on how this retirement list works. I hope I covered everything that I wanted to cover. 
retirement list. Oh, I know one other thing. I had somebody say <clears throat> that they wanted to order some designer series paper this morning, but it was on back order. <laughs> and um, sometimes Stampin' Up! will turn off numbers for stuff that has too many back orders because it's very expensive to send out back orders alone, you know, like one product. So sometimes that the back orders are getting kind of crazy, they'll turn the number off. But if you can still order it, meaning that it's orderable, if you run into something that's on back order, order it. Because it'll just come when it's available, okay? If you wait and don't order it, we could run out of it and then you don't get it at all. So make sure that if, if it says, hey, this item's on back order, order anyway, say yes. Because you'll still get it, it's just gonna take it's not going to come with your original order or initial order or whatever. But you know what I'm saying. So I just wanted to make sure you know about that. And um, I think that's it. I had just a couple notes here. I think that's all. You guys have a wonderful night. <laughs> Betty says she just spent money on retired stuff. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Debbie says the Poppy DSP was on back order yesterday. However, it was shipped today. See, yep, they knew it was coming in or they would have shut the number off because... I can tell you that to mail a pack of 12 by 12 paper costs over $10 for me through the post office. It's super expensive. That's why if you order my kits, I always cut the paper to six by six because it's too much money, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Anyways, I'm going to let you go. You guys have a wonderful, I think it's Thursday. Have a wonderful Thursday and um, I'll let you know again when I'm going to be live. Maybe tomorrow. I hope so. Bye-bye. Take care.